Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be showing you how to freeze and unfreeze users. Now, freezing and unfreezing users is a really awesome tool that can be used by uh, Salesforce admins and you'll want to use it in a few circumstances. So let's take this scenario for an example. Let's say someone was leaving the company and or they were terminated, either one works, but they still had records in Salesforce when they left. They hadn't fully pawned off or hadn't fully um, come up with a contingency plan and gotten those records moved over. You can freeze that user within Salesforce, so then you can make sure that all those records can get transferred over before you fully take them out of Salesforce. Now, freezing will not it'll make it so then they can't log into their Salesforce account. So they are still technically like active within Salesforce and they can still be assigned to things. However, they they can't log in and take any of the company's data and pass it on to whomever. So multiple circumstances, this works. Let's go ahead and head into setup here. And then we're gonna go over to the quick find and search for users. All right, and then let's choose whichever user you want to. I'm gonna say chatter expert. And then up here in these buttons, I'm going to click freeze. And there you go. It is very, very simple to freeze the user. Now you can go in and move over those records and change up any automations that had this user in it. Let's say you had an automation that automatically assigned leads to this person based upon a certain set of criteria. Now you could go ahead and change that to whomever is going to be the next person. And maybe that takes a new hire, maybe that takes a little bit. This will, freezing it, it will make sure that they can't log in and take that data. So I, if you wanted to unfreeze this person, let's say they came back, they decided they got a counter offer from the company and they don't want to jump ship, now you can go ahead and unfreeze that person and they have full access again. This could be really good also in maybe some circumstances of trying to release, do a release update so you could block access for people while you are updating the system. Multiple different scenarios. But that's just kind of a quick overview of freezing and unfreezing users. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses down below in the description or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.